is Grabby Peep Susanna here today for the Scrap Room, and I am sharing with you this layout created using the Pink Fresh Keeping It Real in the April kits. Can you believe it's April? It's crazy. So with this kit, you are going to get two sheets of white cardstock as well as three sheets of pattern paper. Can you believe white cardstock? And I am not using that as a background. That is a rare occurrence for me. Um, so I am actually going to use this striped piece as the background. My intent had been that white cardstock that came with the kit, that I would use it as sort of a, um, a border on that right hand side just to break up the linearness of those stripes, but it changed my mind. And I happen to have found as I was digging through my stash, these, uh, I used a metal die and created these rectangles. Um, and so they have a stitched an X stitched, almost like a cross stitch edge on them. And I thought that they would break up the linearness nicely and create a di diagonal line across the layout. Um, and so my idea is that I'm going to use three of them to create that movement. Uh, I want to frame this photo and so I'm going to mat it with this lighter teal and then um, put some of the yellow behind it. And being Susanna, as Susanna is, I have to investigate what is behind there because anything that is double-sided just really throws me for a loop and I always want both sides. So there as I'm applying the adhesive, I'm like, ooh, I really like that circle. It's almost full and I can use it, so I'm going to save it for a rainy day. Um, the funny thing is, is that I very rarely end up using these things, but, you know, just in case, you never know. I've got it. So now I'm going to add this shot of yellow. So my color palette for this layout is basically the colors that are in the stripe here. So anything that is pink, teal, um, I'm going to go with salmony, that salmony color, or the yellow I am going to use. So again, I really love these icons, despite the fact that I have a full page of it. I have to have these because, you know, you never know when you might need to fussy cut it out. So there's that cascading effect, starting with the big photo and then moving down to what will be the title and the journal spot. Um, that That's the plan anyway. Um, and of course, things, you know, things change and that's fine. I'm flexible with that. I really like that stitched card um, just poking out of the side of the yellow there, sort of breaking up the harshness of, it's not harsh, but breaking up the um, contrast of that yellow up there. So here's a little butterfly uh, that was on the B side of that yellow, or that's the yellow is probably the B side that was the A side of that yellow. And I'm going to fussy cut that for a little bit more embellishment. So you'll see up the top of my screen there, or your screen, um, I have already run cardstock through my manual die cut machine um, and created some vellum butterflies. Those are actually uh, digital die cuts from Pear Tree Cut Files and these flowers that I've run through the, the manual die cut machine. Um, I was watching TV with my son one night and it's just mindless kind of running it through and then piecing them together. So originally, I have these larger flowers that I want to use, um, but I wanted the emphasis to be on the Pink Fresh Studio stuff that's in the kit, and so it, they're also kind of eyesores on there. They they look like they don't look like flowers <laughs> to me, as big as they are with the number of layers that they have. So I will change my mind with that. Um, I'm going to put the three flower, uh, flowers, butterflies, just as they are. I really wanted to fussy cut these leaves, and as I created the flowers, my intent had been that I was going to fussy cut the leaves. But the way that the leaves are laid out on the paper with an overlap, a white outline overlap, it was hard to figure out how I was going to fussy cut those. So um, I am thinking of how I'm going to negotiate that. In the meantime, I really like these tags. I wanted to fussy cut some of them um, partially so that they were windows, the pockets that would open. Um, and I still, I have another piece of this that I bought on my own um, that it's still something that I'm toying with in my head and trying to figure out. So with the kit, you're going to get a row of enamel dots, colors will vary, um, and then a mix of Pink Fresh Icon and flower die cuts that will also vary. And I am going to cut out that blue because it doesn't work and incorporate those into the flowers that I already have. Um, 
I love that the flowers are there, but I wanted a little bit more, which is why I ended up pulling out coordinating cardstock and going with that. Um, I had to cut out the blue. I could have left the blue in there, but there isn't any blue anywhere else in the layout, and I didn't want this random thing sticking out. So this sticker that says this is part of my story, I'm going to put there but um, and leave there. And the reason I like it there is because it, it, it works with that yellow line that's running up the photo there. So a little bit about the photo, um, and this is in the journaling. My daughter is an animal fanatic. Um, she loves animals. She always has. And uh, we were at, where were we? Bush Gardens in Florida. And no, SeaWorld. We were at SeaWorld in Orlando. And um, she absolutely loves sea mammals. So uh, my son and I actually went on the one of the backstage tours, um, interactive, what did, what did they call them? Interactive experiences, behind the scene tours, and she wasn't old enough to go. And so uh, a nut, the following year when we went back, on the spur of the moment, we were able to get tickets for her and my husband to go and do the tour um, that my son and I had done the year before. And she talked about it for days and days and days. So this is her meeting Garfield, um, the walrus. So my idea to fuzzy cut those leaves just wasn't going to work. So I used uh, one of the Tealy Aqua papers and a dye to create some leaves um, to go with this. And so I am trying to get both that light teal and that dark teal in order to create some just um, really get the texture and the depth of the greenery beside the flowers there. So this is where I am going to decide that I really like the flowers, but they're a little big, and so I'm going to have a cascade of flowers, a graduated size of flowers, and I'm going to use my row of dots, which happen to be that um, pinky color. I'm going to use those. It's actually more of the salmon color than the pink. I'm going to use those as the center of my flowers, and I really like that because it adds that layer and that texture. Um, without having all of the layers of the flowers that I had originally intended or set out in my mind that I had needed. Um, and I love the way that these flowers, these florals, cover the irrelevant parts of that photo up there. Um, there's really nothing relevant to the story. Um, and so it just is a nice way of drawing your focus to my husband and Mia and the walrus there. So I could have gone with a um, sort of more, shall we say, C E theme, underwater theme for the walrus, but I really liked the way that the colors worked with the color in my husband's shirt, um, as well as that yellow stripe. There's something about that yellow stripe in the photo that just I am drawn to, um, and I like the way that it's softened by the stripes in the paper here. So just putting a few of the um, smaller flowers that I had cut out uh, to build up that floral cluster there and then try and have a matching but different floral cluster down the bottom there. I like the way that that rounded tag there, you actually don't end up seeing that it's rounded, I'm going to end up covering that up, but I like the way that it ties together and it sort of closes the gap between the top right photo and then this journal spot down here on the left. So because I have this running on a diagonal, I do not actually have a trio of embellishment clusters, but I do have a trio of butterflies that creates that visual triangle and moves your eye across the page. Not that you really need your eye moved across the page because there's two very distinct areas um, and there's also really a lot of movement and texture on the page with the movement of those horizontal lines there. I really like the way that that tag, that uh, big mood, a describes how she felt. She was so pleased with herself to be, be old enough finally to be able to do this, but I also like the way that it brings that dominant aqua that's in the top of the page in those stripes down to um, the bottom and unites the top of the page with the bottom of the page there. 
so these butterflies, um, the digital cut file, I think you get something like three, six, nine, twelve butterflies, um, different shapes, and I just backed them with vellum. I thought they would be cool if you were to leave the inside at the body of that outline and then be able to pop them and fold them up and have multi-dimensional um, butterflies. I will do that at some point, but uh, I really wanted the vellum here so that they were see-through. They were elements, but they, they were see-through. So I like this tag here because it goes with that horizontal element and sort of sticks within that same color palette, but creates some visual interest on the background there. I've split that label it's on the right hand side of the photo and I will use the left hand side of it at the bottom left too. And again, a, a, an element that is going to unite both of the divided sides of the layout there. Um, so also you will get one sixth of the, um, the puffy phrases and I'm going to use right now. I was going to use the other one. I can't remember what it was. Both of them would have worked, but it would have been too much verbiage on the page. And again, it closes that gap between the two nicely. It's distinct, but it is an element that unites them. And there's the other part of that label that I'm going to use. So again, this is a layout that I created using my scrap room kit for the scrap room. Um, it is a subscription, but you do not have to subscribe. You can just do a one off if you want to. Um, if you have any questions about that, please don't hesitate to leave them in the box down below. Thanks for stopping in today. I hope you're doing well. Come back again soon. Take care.